So, let's see, am I still in focus? Ooh. Hello. You can use it in calligraphy. You can use it in calligraphy pens. You can use it in watercolor, calligraphy. Hello, artists. Welcome back. So you have requested me to do the watercolor declutter video, which it's not for lack of trying. I actually tried twice. And the first time we had focusing issues, Gerard in the background was uh, video bombing me, photo bombing me. It's A, B, oh. And then the second time I got interrupted by life. Hello? Oh, what up? and things just sort of took off and I tell you what this year has been kind of the same way so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to keep what I'm going to declutter and what's going in the giveaway so I'm excited that uh, Stranger Things is coming just gonna put that note out there it's coming it's coming it's coming so if you haven't checked out the new little clip that they just released it's really funny so just get into it we're gonna pop those on oh, lord it's still so cluttered in here that i can't even hardly move around so <laughs> a few things i am going to keep right off the bat uh we've got the holbein artist squash set that is the um, designer set it was the very first youtube video review that i ever did in fact the first youtube video i ever did so i will put a little card up if you want to see me all awkward and everything i'm still awkward but they look really pretty. They're very beautiful colors. And I just can't part with them. They're just so freaking beautiful, even though I don't always do gouache. Uh, also with the, the 12 set. So, yeah, they're staying. They just have to. Okay, so we've also got, speaking of gouache, the Karin Dosh Gouache Studio. It is 12 pans. No, I am wrong. Okay, 14 pans. We have a white color, and I've lost the brush. It's gotten plenty of love over the years. And the little pans pop out for convenient use. I really just, I love having it on hand, even though I don't always use it. And I don't always use it alone. I like to use it for accents. I like to use it to darken whenever I want something really opaque. And Karin Dosh never fails to pull through. They are very pricey, and sometimes I think they're overpriced but they do deliver quality products and I've never had a real dud from them. So if you have the money to invest in them, please do it because you're going to thank yourself, okay? All right. Moving right along, we have one more gouache. We're just going to get gouache out of the way, I guess. We have the Turner gouache. These are fantastic. They're so pretty. Um, they do have a tendency to crack if you don't put some finishing varnish on them or something. I wanted to say setting spray because I'm so very into makeup, but that's not what you use on gouache. Just make sure that you take care of it so that you can use it in the long run and um, have no have no um, aging issues with that. Uh, gouache has a tendency to sometimes dry down and get too dry if you don't take care of it. Uh, I, I love gouache, but it's a little bit of a, it's like the cranky sister of watercolor but <laughs> but when you really really treat it well and you know what you're doing it can just lend so much to so many beautiful beautiful outcomes for illustration and i just i love being able to um kind of dabble in both the watercolor gouache and the acryl gouache so this is more along the lines of the acryl gouache which is has an acrylic binder it is permanent once the layers dry the watercolor gouache can be re-wetted and um acts more like watercolor basically but it's it's more opaque so if you didn't know that's a little rundown of gouache for you so those are staying now let's look at some of the other items that i'm going to consider giving away these gelatos okay these little gelato sticks i gotta let them go because and they're going to be given in a giveaway because <laughs> i tend to think that i'm a crafty person and that i'm going to have time to <laughs> art journal a lot and all this other stuff i do not end up doing that i might do that at some point in my life but right now these things are just going to dry up if i just keep them and i don't want them to go to waste so i'm going to put them in a giveaway now these are so beautiful look at that i mean beautiful 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 i have one set of the jane davenport jane davenport color sticks one's called soul window 
and I believe that's for eyes and all the other facial features. And then we have the Silky Skin, which is the flesh tones, and let's see here. Yeah, those are very, very nice too. Um, I think these would be great if you're going to Art Journal and, and do some studies and just to kind of play around with some mixed media. However, I don't see myself using these in the future. I have Neo Colors by Karin Dash, and this was kind of an impulse buy. So, um, you know, damn it, Jane Davenport just does, she does amazing things with her marketing and she gets me every time. And I'm like, eh. and some of her products are amazing. And then some of her products are just, they're not my style. And these weren't my style. They're a little bit too, um, they're a lot like the gelatos, but they have a little bit more of a gel feel to them. And they, I did use them in a kind of mixed media piece where it was just a little sketch and everything. And it was fun to keep them and take them along. They're travel friendly. If you really want to just stick them in a, a little bag and take them along with you, the Neo Colors or not, because I have a huge, the biggest, I think it's the biggest, the whole collection that you can have, the, the Neo Colors. And so I just feel like I'm going to stick with those. These are, these are just not for me. They might be for you. So there's nothing wrong with them. They're just not my thing. So, yay. Good for you. Good for me. It's a win-win. Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> this is the Creta Color Aqua Brick. And they can be used for illustration. They can be used as gouache. They can use, they can be watered down more for watercolor. Uh, somehow they can be used in an airbrush. I guess you, I'm not really familiar. Okay, so you lay down the chunk, you lay down the um, actual color block with the, the color block itself, because these things pop out. These actually pop out, and you can just use them like this, and then rub them on your paper, use an airbrush over it, and it disperses the product. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I think I'm kind of on the fence on this. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it's going to be in the giveaway or not. It's solid blocks of watercolor pigment for drawing or painting. So it's it's an interesting product. I don't hardly ever reach for it though. So I'm still on the fence about it. It may be in the giveaway. It may not be in the giveaway. I don't know. But you'll know very soon. This is the maybe pile. Maybe. Okay. Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Ink. Now the only reason, oh, ah, it's up to down. Um, the only reason why I'm not putting this in the giveaway is that is because they're already opened and I really don't feel secure about sending these in the mail whenever they're already opened and they only have a little cap screwing, um, you know, basically that's the only defense against any kind of movement of that ink and I would really hate for the winner to open up a package and just see ink everywhere. So this one is going to my friend Arlena. She's a dear friend. She's a wonderful artist and she's such a, a good soul. She's one of my soul sisters. She's my soul sister in art. Pretty sure I knew her in a past life. I'm sure we've been sisters before. Um, so this, I mean, this stuff is really awesome though. You can use it in calligraphy. You can use it in calligraphy pens. You can use it in watercolor. You can use it in watercolor calligraphy pens, airbrush, technical pens, illustration, designing. It's light, fast, and archival, waterproof, fine art pigments, acid-free, and non-toxic. There are three sets. I have this one set, and you can get them in bigger bottles. Actually, I have another set of those in, in bigger bottles that have not really been uh, busted into. So these are not gonna give, be given in the giveaway, but I am gonna give them to a dear friend who will use them. So. Also, if you want to go see her artwork, it is ArlenaHoltzman.com. That's A-O-L-T-Z-M-A-N-N. -N. So, she's also on Facebook. You can find these at Michael's, but I highly recommend using one of their 40% off coupons because this is the thing about Michael's. It's actually kind of a little bit of a scam. And I'm not downing Michael's. It's just, just what retailers do sometimes. They jack up the price and they give you a 40% off coupon to make you think that you're saving things. And that's just how they walk sometimes. So I need more caffeine. Oh, the Sennelier La Petite Aquarelle. Um, this is the student set. And I did a full review on these. They're wonderful for students. They're just great student quality. I know that fine artists tend to kind of 
dog the student art supplies a little bit here and there when it comes to watercolor but the thing is is that not everybody has a budget to spend the actual professional level and and buy all these little tubes and everything because they're expensive now i will say that sennelier's tubes are surprisingly affordable at Blix and most of the time they have you know 20 or 30 percent off the list price of what they actually are originally supposed to be priced and so does Jerry's I mean you know you, if you look for the sales the Sennelier brand is actually pretty affordable and they are my favorite one of my favorites I mean Daniel Smith is another one of my favorite brands but there's something special about Sennelier they do have the honey based binder and they're so luminous and these I I never could find out if they actually have honey in them I don't think they do but they're luminous for being student quality and <sighs> this little handles broken that happened in shipment but I ended up getting a refund on it so I got it completely for free um, I'm still on the fence about this one because it has a sentimental value to me and I just feel like there's there is part of me that wants to actually create an entire palette of watercolors from Sennelier and their actual um, professional level brand, professional level brand, in their professional level watercolors. Um, but there's something about this one and it's portable too, so I'll let you know later. Speaking of travel friendly, I have the Dallow Rowney Aquafine Travel Kit. And this thing is really fun because You've got 30 colors in here. You've got a flap that shows you all of the colors that are in here. I guess you're just gonna get several different versions of me in this video because clearly I cannot seem to get one block of time to be able to create everything. This is the fourth time I've tried filming this. It's driving me batty. Okay, so anyways, let's, let's go ahead and continue what we were talking about. I believe it was the travel set from Aquafine, it has a lovely little overlay where it shows you where the colors are and there isn't a lot of mixing space, but you can always take a little travel com compact palette like, I mean, this is obviously not going to do it, but I mean, something smaller that you can, you know, put your paints on and mix with but I mean the price and the value you get a wonderful little set that just it doesn't take that much room up and right now I just went to Michael's yesterday and today is May 31st and they had it on clearance so if you have a local Michael's or if you want to shop online maybe they have it online too but I think it was like half the price of what it was which I paid 30 so well with a 40% off coupon. I guess I didn't technically pay 30, but you get what I'm saying. Retail price was 30. So I think it was 14, something like that. It was a little bit more than 50% off. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That is going in the giveaway. I just, I'm high maintenance and I need more than just that for a travel kit. So it is what it is. I am what I am, you know. Moving on, I just got this. This is the Daniel Smith essential coloring kit and this is this oh the mixing set sorry it comes with watercolor ground and it comes with everything you need to mix all these beautiful colors and i got these at michael's yesterday i figured out the value of it with the 40 percent off coupon these are less than six dollars per tube in retail price they usually run about ten dollars per tube so five milliliters six dollars a tube you can't really beat it considering that retail price is ten dollars a tube so it is what it is and i keep saying that but it is and so i'm of course i'm keeping these they're brand new long story short I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right it's Kamarabi by Mozart just mentioned these in the last video I believe and it has neon colors in it and those were the ones oh gosh and those shimmery shades at the bottom it has that weird plastic smell sometimes there's some kind of there's some kind of chemical in it that isn't really agreeing with me but it's not it's not anything that's going to break me either they are art, artist quality they are very nice I've, I've used them a little bit and i'm going to do hopefully a review on these very very soon for y'all so those are staying uh, let's talk something that these two dilutions mica sprays um these you can totally have um one of them is pink one of them's iridescent it has an iridescent shimmer to it but one's pink one's purple they're cute you can just spray them on if you're crafting scrapbooking um even if you're just you know kind of doing things in your sketchbook and you want to add a little bit of flair there you go so these are going in the giveaway uh, let's see here so this is glitter ink by bria Rees, and i found this at hobby lobby 
and I think they were on sale for like a dollar and the red oh my gosh I used it for my patriotic pinup sketch so beautiful I even stopped like the whole this whole sketching filming and I was just like you gotta see this guys because it was absolutely gorgeous and so but you know I was sitting there looking at all my inks and I was like I can part with this because I have a ton of inks you know I don't really need every last one of them this one I'm keeping because it's red and it's beautiful and I can't get over shiny things and glittery things. The Shinhan watercolors. I'm laughing because I put a drawer in the corner where he belongs because he was kind of creeping over here again. So anyways, these are the Shinhan professional watercolors. Uh, these are, I guess that they're the student quality kind. I can't remember. Um, but they act like professional quality. And because um, they have a step up and it's more expensive. But these, these were like 30 bucks on Amazon and they didn't let me down. So um, the, the whole thing is, is that I'm, I'm so short. I just, I have too many watercolor tubes and too many watercolor sets. So this is going in the giveaway. Nothing wrong with them. You'll enjoy them. And I, I enjoyed them as well. They were really, really good. Really translucent. Very nice. So simply just don't need them. If y'all are wondering what happened to my boob, it was my cat. Basically, I had her in my arms, she got scared, and just <laughs> used my breastbone as a launching pad, and there you have it. So, yep, good times. She also got me, I don't know if you can see it, it's all across my arm right there. Yeah, there you go, you can see it. So we have the Dr. P.H. Martins. All four sets, they're so gorgeous. I have all of them. <sighs> I have, they have a, a thing called Spectralite um, liquid acrylics or acrylic watercolors or something like that. I can't remember. Anyways, I have to try them because they look amazing. They dry like acrylics and act like watercolor. I mean, they're mad scientists, but these, these are the radiant concentrated watercolors. These are not light fast, I know, but they come in the most amazing colors. They're so vibrant and look at the little bottles that they come in. They were behind me. Um, you know, on my display upstairs in my living room whenever I was working up there and they may go back there. I'm not really sure exactly where they're going, but I am keeping them. There's no way I'm going to part with those. Sorry. <laughs> also keeping the liquid hydrous watercolor as well. These now, these for your information, <laughs> these are light fast. So if you want to pick these up, they're actually fairly affordable. Um, I mean, they're not um, budget, but I say, I think they're like $35 something like that on and you can find them on Amazon for a lot cheaper than probably retail So there you have it. I'm keeping them even though I have not used them in a while They actually got hidden behind the other ones um, On my shelves and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to come and take them all off the shelf and put them in their packages So that I'm more visually aware of them. So I had kind of forgotten about them But I see you now and I'm gonna use you so you know So I was looking over here at my cart and I'm like is that is that all? Are we done here? No. I look down here and there's a whole big box. So stay tuned. <laughs> so this is, oh, I hate it whenever it does that. I've got my Karin Dosh Neo Color 2s. I'm not even going to try and explain. I don't know exactly what happened. Something, my guess is something was uh, laying on top of it. It got wet and then I couldn't peel everything off but they're so beautiful and I haven't used them that much I don't know why I had to have these like there was something in my brain that just said you should have those you will use them all the time perhaps that time hasn't come yet but I'm not giving them away I'm sorry I can't they're $200 good lord um, you know I'm, I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to sell them I probably won't. These two, I don't, I can't even show them how beautiful these are. I did have swatches that I put on paper and these are the, I'm going to butcher it again, Boku Wandu. I, I'm not sure how it's actually pronounced. Somebody did mention it in another video. Don't remember. But this one's the iridescent set. This one is kind of the muted tone color set. I'm going to keep them the, they're both beautiful. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to keep the iridescent set. I'm going to give away the, the muted color set. They're very beautiful. You can use them to darken colors and everything. I just don't reach for this one that much. This one I still like. So this one's going into the giveaway. My custom colors. I really don't know what the theme of these were. I mean, I was just happy to have something I could put my 
watercolors into. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna randomly put stuff in here. I think this one was more designed for um, a portrait to be able to have brights and portrait colors in here. So I don't even remember. I wish I would have written down like what, what, which one was what. I do believe these are Van Gogh here. I do believe these, some of these are Cotman and then some of them are, I don't know. I have too many. Let me set this one aside and give it in a giveaway. The Gonzai Tambi Iridescent Watercolors. Yep, you're staying. Oh, yeah. Uh, gouache doesn't do very well in pans. <laughs> this was the Artisa, or not Artisa. <laughs> I'm just losing my mind at this point. This is the, the Carndosh. Was it Carndosh? No, it was Holbein. <laughs> the Holbein artist designer set and the Holbein artist 12 set. This is the designer set. This is the 12 set that I reviewed that I talked about. I'm keeping this one. It's beautiful. It's got rainbow colors and gouache colors, even though it's not really a good idea to put gouache in pans. So I learned that lesson very hard way. I didn't even think about it. So this one's staying because it's a horrible mistake and I wouldn't want to give it to anybody. So, and I can utilize my own mistakes. <laughs> These are some of my Holbein Acryl Gouache. Now, I only have a few select ones. I don't have a huge collection. Some of my favorite colors are um, the Smalt Blue, the Ice Green is so beautiful, and their Opera Rose is really gorgeous. And I had originally bought a mixing set, but what I am going to do is put, I think, let's see. I do still have the mixing set. I'll tell you what, I will give you guys um, a yellow and a titanium white that you can play around with. These are the two ones that I sampled. And, uh, you know, that'll kind of break you in and give you an idea of how these operate. And they may add a little bit of um, you know, flair or highlights to your current paintings. Uh, they'll be great on top of watercolor for those specific highlights if you're not really into um, using... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, brain fart. Masking fluid! That's what I meant! Masking fluid! Oh my god. I worry about myself, my brain sometimes. In this box right here, I have all of my Prima Marketing watercolor palettes. But, um, you know, I have Tropicals, I have Pastel Dreams, I have Woodlands, I have Essence. I have Odyssey, I have Complexion, I have, let's see, what else do we got here? We got, yeah, we, we covered them all. I have the Classics and then I have Decadent Pies. Two of these, the Classics and the Decadent Pies, I am giving in the giveaway. The Classics is just kind of a, a nice base coverage. This would be great for travel because it has a little loop that you can put your hole into. You can do some plain air and it's got every color you can possibly need for mixing and it's just kind of a, the bright end of the spectrum too it's not really dull it's um if that's your thing so be it but this is for those of us who like bright colors and even even so you could probably put a little bit of the um, black or the uh, brown in there to kind of darken and deepen things there's all kinds of possibilities so the classics whoop you want to stay in there you're going to a new owner i promise so this one's going decadent pies um it was a little bit of a shimmer palette i think and some other muted tones and you get some extra little sennelier right here so i mean it's been well loved i'm not really sure what to make of this palette i don't even know what kind of color story that was supposed to be i mean it says decadent pies but i i just don't i don't understand <laughs> And something I don't understand doesn't belong with me, so I can't, I've tried to understand it, but these two, these two can be yours. Look at that blue. That is shellac drawing ink from St. Louis Art Supply, and they don't make this one anymore right now. Um, it's ultramarine blue, and it actually dries down to a matte finish. It's beautiful. So I have my drawing inks here. These are staying. Um, can't say too much more about that. These are Higgins and the other ones were from St. Louis Art Supply. So if you want to check out that video about St. Louis Art Supply, I'll put a little card up in the top right hand corner. It is about how I discovered St. Louis Art Supply and we go and take you, my friend Arlene and I go and we take you on a journey to the new store. So check that out if you like art supply stores. I mean, why wouldn't you? So this is an art channel. Why wouldn't you want art supplies? Okay, look how pretty that is. Look. Look how dark it's going to get now. 
<laughs> this is gonna be terrible in <laughs> editing. <laughs> Anyways, this these are so pigmented that I can't even make odds and ends of it until you put the actual watercolor on the palette. Like some of these look so similar and you have to you have to have swatches because otherwise you'll get lost. But that's how beautiful they are. The Mission Magello collection right here. Um, the palette is not travel friendly technically, but I guess if you wanted to just stick it in the end, like bottom of your suitcase, you could do that. Um, or your art bag. I love the way it's set up like this, but they're not very user. I mean, I don't say they're not user friendly. They are, it's just a bulky palette. That's all, that's all. But it, it is beautiful. It's so pigmented. It's another honey based binder. So you don't have a lot of chalkiness. It's just very fluid and very transparent and beautiful to layer. These have my heart. That's all I can say. So I have an extra one of these. These are the Jane Davenport neutrals, the neutral palette. And these are great for skin tones and um, lady faces and man faces and all that kind of stuff. So beautiful little packaging. Gotta love it. I have an extra one of these and great for travel too. They also have that identical thumb ring right here. So you can have one of these. So this is going to be a bit, a bit heavy on the giveaway. The last giveaway, the color pencil giveaway, I think I paid $26 for shipping. <laughs> okay, she's playing with a string. I have this thing where these particular watercolors, I know this is going to be like a sensory thing, but the pans bother me for some reason. Uh, they dip down really fast. I went through a lot of these real fast and you can't see it, but they're really deep down in there and the way that the, the watercolor kind of broke up and everything. However, I love, the, I love the quality. I love the way that they look on paper. They're vibrant, they're beautiful. Again, they're so dark that you have to swatch some of these to know what you're using. I think I had like a cat hair and a spider in it at one point, <laughs> so gross. I know the Sennelier's are in here and they're staying. 100% they are staying. Unless I have a repeat, um, then I could definitely give you guys some extra ones. In fact, I just remembered I have two apothecary jars full of tubes upstairs. I guess I'm a little bit uh, contradictory because I was going to say that I'm not going to uh, ex I'm not going to include anything with an, a dropper in it. But guys, some of you aren't into scents. I am. Um, this is the scented ink from Jane Davenport. I have the whole collection. I'm going to keep the collection, but whenever I bought them in a lot, I had two of these. This is the mermaid tail color. Is it the mermaid tail that I have two of, or is it the fresh air? One of them's going in the giveaway. Let me look. I just featured these in my last video. They are so beautiful. I just, I love her marketing. She's a freaking genius. She's a genius. She's a marketing genius. She has these cute little drawings on here of each of the colors. She names them after flowers and fruit and has them centered like fruit and flowers. So, although there is a chocolate one and it's, or it's cocoa, hot cocoa, and it actually smells like hot cocoa. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 I'm goofy. Yes, it's mermaid tail. So I think probably what I'll do is put some tape around these edges so and, and just really screw them on tight so that if you want some ink, you can have some ink and hopefully pray and make it as secure as possible. These guys, however, the Ecoline, they're very close to using um, the radiant concentrated watercolor. They're just they're just world talents brands, but they're not as concentrated. So you can kind of open them up and just dip right in and use them. But you see how, see what I did? See, they're not going in the giveaway. <laughs> That's a perfect example of why. Now I have yellow and all over my desk. Okay, um, thanks to La Cree Fine Art, Lisa over there had suggested buying Viva towels for oil painting. She said no other brand. So these are like little washcloths almost. Well, lesson learned. They're not going in the giveaway for obvious reasons. So if you want some Ecoline, go buy some. <laughs> so. 
You can get them, I believe, open stock on Blick, but I'll have to double check about that. But um, they're a lovely brand, but they just, they're so easy to spill. That's my only thing about them. These are big and hot on trend. These are the fanning out pans. I have not really worked with these that much to see how much I like them, but I do like the fact that I can just pop them in my bag and take them with me. I leave a little Faber-Castell, I think it's a HB in there to sketch with. They come with a water brush pen. I'll use it. I'm not a fan of it really, but I'll use it. It's just okay if it's the only thing that I have. So I do love these. So um, I know you can buy plenty of different brands on Amazon. I think it's a very affordable set. It's like 14 bucks. I think this was from Meaden, but there's a ton of other private label situations going on there that carry these. So I'm gonna keep them. Holy smokes, I'm so excited for these. Look how pretty they are. These are the Liquitex Acrylic Gouache. Their claim to fame is that they don't leave streaks. They are completely matte finish. No gloss, no satin, completely flat matte, and they are said to not crack. Well, we're gonna put this to the test, so I have to keep it and do a review for you. If they don't work out for me, then I'll, I'll give them away, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna work out. So since I am, I decided to go ahead and put some ink bottles in the giveaway. I'm going to tape these and you can have them. They are the Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent Calligraphy Colors. Now, this one in particular, it's not working out for me. You have to really, really shake these hard and use them on a regular basis. Otherwise, they will settle. The glitter will settle at the end of the bottle and then they're just a big old mess. So that's all I've been able to break up there. I don't know if you can tell, but <clears throat> I used this one in a sketch of Shade the Changing Girl way on where I first began my channel. And um, it was beautiful. I don't use them enough. And I'll tell you, shaking them up is kind of a pain in the ass. So you might enjoy them though. So I'm gonna put them in a giveaway. Yay. This is also the Black Magic Color. It's iridescent, or black, I'm sorry, black sparkle. So it's kind of a metallic black from P Dr. P.H. Martins. So, you can have that as well, yay. Welcome to Jane's channel, the most unorganized YouTuber. By the way guys, if you don't have a butcher palette, you should get, get a butcher palette. It's really, really nice to be able to mix colors on. Just FYI. All of my mediums, <laughs> all of my mediums. I have art masking fluid, granulation medium, fast drying medium. Oh, that's not for watercolors, that's for oils water mixable oil colors. Um, permanent masking medium, texture medium. What is that? This never says what it is. Adds fine texture. I haven't quite figured that one out. Um, granulation medium, I obviously know what that is. Art masking fluid, permanent masking fluid. My favorite, the blending medium, which I spilled one of these in one of my videos uh, I was doing, Snape. Be careful whenever you have this one out because clearly I'm prone to accidents and uh, so moving right along <laughs> Jane Davenport Brights I did a review on these this is my extra set I gave my other set to Arlena fabulous fabulous bright colors so if you want a bright color palette this is the one to go to if you want something that's travel friendly as well it's very very cute this one right here is the Dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white tip it, if it ever dries out like this it's getting everywhere um just go ahead and put some water in it and kind of work with it a little bit until it actually kind of starts moisting it up again Ooh, i said the word moist okay so we have this little guy right here it's a little bit dusty i need to dust clearly and then we have this guy right here and so i'm just gonna go through some of these and pick out some tubes see if there's anything in here we're just gonna go through this and see if there's anything that I'm willing to give away or that um, I may have a copy of, or not a copy of, but another tube of duplicates. And, uh, or just something that didn't work out for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them and just see what we do. So I know right away I'm not going to be giving any away um, of the Sennelier La Aquarelle. Those are just my holy grail as far as watercolors itself are concerned even if i had to pick over you know daniel smith i mean daniel smith is probably 
uh, it's up there. You know, it's up there with um, with Sennelier. The only thing is that they're more expensive than Sennelier. So I know that the quality is absolutely top notch, the top brass in, in Daniel Smith. However, I can get the La Aquarelle from Sennelier a lot cheaper whenever they're on sale at Blix. So it is what it is. But, um, you know, if you do invest in Daniel Smith, make sure that you get, if you can, get the bigger bottles because they're a a better value altogether the 15 milliliters versus the five milliliters this is going to fill up about two pans if you put them in pans but this one in particular i think i've filled up two pans and one of them was from for a gift for arlena and one was for me and i still have this entire i mean you can see it itself i mean there's so much product left so 15 milliliters i'm not sponsored or anything i'm just saying um this is a great value they're expensive i mean i'm not gonna lie they are pricey but they are awesome i mean they're incredible so if you want to check out more i have a watercolor collection video where i show you everything that i have i show you all the swatches so if you want to check that out i'll leave a card i also have i do have a lot of the little daniel smith ones which i sound like a hypocrite saying that but the thing is is that i know for sure that it's good to have the 15 milliliter bottles if you can so take it from personal experience as much as I don't prefer Winsor Newton Cotman, they got a couple colors. I gotta say, the um, I believe it's the Intense Phthalo Blue and this one, the Mauve or Mauve, however you want to call it. I always call it Mauve, but uh, those two are really, really brilliant colors. So I recommend those. I honestly, I would like to give you guys some Holbein, but I mean, they're they're almost all used up. I will part with this little Holbein lavender. Um, it is pretty and everything. I just don't use it as much as I thought I would. I mean, I'm a sucker for color. I have this sort of disease where I just love the entire spectrum of colors and I'll get stuck on one color and it's like, I have to have that. And then I don't use it, so. Um, so same with Wisteria. I don't reach for that, but it is Daniel Smith and I don't want to give it up. So I might use it someday. That's my excuse. Okay, I'm gonna include this one. This is actually from Van Gogh. Um, by Royal Talons. It is Permanent Red Deep and I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I love the color and I love Van Gogh. I mean if you are in a budget and you want some good watercolor they're very 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 good quality for being um, kind of a mid-grade brand. They're, they're not really I mean I guess they're considered student are they? I don't know but you know they actually have some really really good stuff and this is kind of their professional line if I remember correctly I don't know it, it just I remember whenever I was really really on a budget the Van Gogh brand came through and so I bought quite a bit of them whenever they were on sale at my local art supply store so I almost feel guilty giving you a Cotman but if you want to experience it there's a cadmium orange hue that I don't use so cheers <laughs> oh if you got if you get any one color from Daniel Smith, get the Looter Black. It is so pretty, It is so, they're so granulated. And not all of them are like that, but this is something special. There, there's really something special to this color. So Lunar Black. I know it's not much left in here, but just to try it out, these are the core watercolors. Very pure, vibrant pigment. And there's a little bit left of the permanent Alizarin Crimson. Beautiful color, so I'm going to include that too. So I think that about covers it. I mean, it's a pretty comprehensive giveaway and it's pretty good declutter. Um, I know there's a lot that I'm keeping still, but as I said, watercolor is combined with colored pencil is probably one of my main mediums. So I want to make sure that I basically give away what's not being used that I feel in my heart I probably won't ever use again and keeping the things that are potentially um, good for the future and the ones that I use obviously now that I know and love. So, you know, I don't really feel like I have to have a whole bunch of excuses to keep things. I mean, it's art supplies. They last a very, very long time and they are an investment, but they 
work so well for you usually i mean there's only a couple of brands that have released some things that i've been like Pfft. so you know it's it's pretty unanimous that you know it is an investment and it's a return on investment whether it be for money or for joy so thank you for joining me today i'm sorry it took me like four different tries to try and get through all of this i hope that you will subscribe and join me for more adventures in this declutter series i'm actually going to be bringing back some tutorials and some other useful educational stuff but anyways in the meantime i will get some details for you for the giveaway in a future video and i will see you next time keep creating artists i really enjoy having you around working so i have to have things that are going to work really well in quality and still be able to be you know cut down good lord i can't even talk but do bad but do he would pay for um, um, pens or brush pens with the water in the <laughs> oh. oh goodness gracious okay so <laughs> my name's Jane and I don't know how to talk I don't know how to use sentences what are sentences how do they work okay so Let's see, am I still in focus? Ooh. You can use it in calligraphy. You can use it in calligraphy pens. You can use it in watercolor. Calib cal I'm not that shiny in real life. It doesn't matter what kind of powder I put on my face. I look like a like I dipped myself in highlighter or oil or something. This is not a beauty channel, so. Uh, <laughs> hair. Welcome to the gun show! <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay.